Mary's tomb at the Kidron Valley, Josephat Valley. We just came from the Garden of Gethsemane. And uh, let's go in to visit the tomb of Mary. We already know that Mary uh, actually fell asleep slash died according to different traditions at uh, Mount Zion. We actually visited today the Dormition Church that was her house. Then Jesus took immediately a soul and three days later after they buried her, uh, Jesus took her body, then the sarcophagus, the tomb of her is empty. Uh, it's a crusader church. Mm -hmm. Crusaders built their church in kind of a, kind of a fortress because we, they were only few people. And everything that they built was a fortress, even a church. Before we will continue, let's go into, into here. This is a, a nice chapel. There are two versions, the truth and the, and the holy site. The truth is, is the one who built it was... Yeah, the one who was buried here is Melisanda, which was one of the queens of the crusader. But we believe that, let's come from here, that the mother of, of Mary, Anna, and the father of Mary, Joachim, actually are buried here. And here you can see uh, the tomb of Joachim, her father. And here you can see the tomb of Anna, now they, they actually were so old when Mary was born. Then in that matter, uh, and that was a miracle, was because they couldn't bring a child into that world. And an angel came to Joachim and told him, you're going to have a child. That was almost unbelievable, but that's what happened. And in that case, she was sinless. And she was born ex almost exactly like the story of Jesus. She was sinless. She served the temple for so many years until she got the first period. And now she's not so clean. She's pure, but not clean. Then they looking, were looking for someone to take care of her. Her parents already died. We're talking about very old parents. And then Joseph was the answer. And St. Joseph raised her. The problem here in their chapel is that the lights are not working. No. But you can see here, according to tradition, the tomb of St. Joseph. You can see right here, uh, Jesus mm -hmm. with St. Joseph and Mary with her as well. Uh, now, when we know it, let's go down to visit the tomb of Mary. It's owned by the Armenian and by the Greek people. Today, it's the Greek day. The Armenian are there. <coughs> This is the tomb of Mary. Before we go in, let me show you the paintings. You can see the Assumption of Mary, which is usually at August. We're celebrating in August. And here, you already remember my mission. Mm -hmm. She fell asleep. You can look at Jesus. He's already holding her soul. And now when we know it, we can go in. And this is the sarcophagus. Oh, I always make that mistake. This is the sarcophagus of, of Jesus, of Mary. Not like Jesus, but here we can take pictures. Now look what's happened lately. So many notes mm -hmm. and wishes from uh, uh, the mother. You can see here Greek Orthodox uh, icon and Armenian picture. They are sharing it half the time. That's for the holy, the holy fire. Not. They started from the past. And if you will go out, I will ask you to touch the sarcophagus because from here we cannot do that. Lilies, the flower of Mary. Now let's, you want to sit and pray?
the only place, the only one, option to touch sarcophagus is for the of lamps. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that represent Jerusalem in heaven. But the rest are not. Again, Jerusalem in heaven. Those three. Mm -hmm. 